I do think doing this DIY is fairly pointless because this product exists and it's much simpler to do and all you really need to use this product is a regular water bottle and you can get any size of water bottle that you want. So this DIY is kind of pointless but this is what I run on my system. But I figured I'd let you know guys know about this product because it's much simpler than to do this big project. This is the largest size pet water bottle I found, which is the 64 ounce. And I say it's for rabbits, ferrets, guinea pigs, dogs, whatever. But it's also for fish. <laughs> Honestly, if you're going to be getting a reef tank and setting it up with a pet bottle, you want to use the largest pet bottle that either your tank will fit or that you could find. On my five gallon tank, I had a 32 ounce pet bottle that lasted two days. So with a lid, it would last significantly longer. However, without a lid, you're gonna need the higher volume. And since I have a larger tank now with a larger surface area, it's very important that I get a bigger bottle. This bottle is 64 ounces. These make for great budget ATOs. My aquarium setup is meant to be a desktop aquarium. I want to have, and also I need my tank to be portable. I need, so having another tank just to set up an ATO uh, kind of defeats the purpose. And also, these, instead of manuals hopping off, these keep the water level the same so you get less swings in your small reef. Honestly, if you're running a Pico reef and you don't want to buy an ATO, you know, the typical ATO, my best recommendation is to do a gravity fed ATO. And for this, I'm using the largest size pet water bottle I can find. Now, before you could actually stick this on your tank, you're going to have to remove the ball in it. See right here, there's a ball. You have to remove that. And what I found, some people don't like metal touching the salt water. However, I've never had any problems with it. However, it's up to you. Some people put a little bit of plastic on top so it, um, it's not metal on salt water. However, I don't mind. Now, what you want to do is, there's two ways of getting the ball out. One is if you have the tools, you could cut this off the top and the ball would roll right out. But I don't have cutting tools for metal and as well, I don't even have proper pliers. However, this is how I do it, sketchy way. These are electrical pliers actually. You can see they're super rusty. And what I do is I just use this to try and crimp up the ends until the ball could fall out. So you can see I'm very close to crimping it out, but you can see how jagged I made the edge. The ball is almost out. Just wanted to show you the progress. But this is why I recommend doing it on the inside instead of the outside. So now here is nice and smooth and the inside where every, nothing is touching is all ugly and jagged. At this point, all I did was take some aquarium epoxy and super glue and my tank came with these elbows and I just stuck it onto the lid, which was where the bottle is going to be attaching to the tank. And this is what it looks like on my tank. 